Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear friends, in the mighty name of Jesus, I welcome all the viewers of Shalom World to the Thunder of God Ministries. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us begin this session with a praise and worship. During this praise and worship, there will be mighty healings, there will be mighty deliverance, there will be mighty anointing. Let us pray together. If possible, raise up your hands and begin to praise our God. Hallelujah. Who Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, there glory, is no glory, one glory, who is like the Lord. Glory, he glory, is strong glory, glory, and glory, mighty. Glory. Who is like the Lord. Hallelujah. He is worthy. Stand up and give him your praise. Praise the Lord. And give him your glory Clap Stand up hands. and praise him And give him Clap your, your glory Stand up and praise him And give him your glory As God is worthy of praise Who is like the Lord There is no one Who is like the Lord He is strong and mighty Who is like the Lord He is worthy Proclaim your mighty name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Heavenly Father, Jesus. bless all of us with the mighty anointing of Holy Spirit. Help the children. Help all the family members. Help those who are sick. Heavenly Father, we bring before you all the afflicted ones. Help all of them. Bless them. Heal them. Touch them, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends in Christ, today I greet all of you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the peace reign in your hearts. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are going to think about is everything fraud to you? If is everything fraud for you? Dear friends, in our hearts there is a devilish attack whenever we see something spiritual whenever see a man who is going after spiritual things or whenever we see a spiritual minister immediately uh, satan will induce in us an evil thought he may be fraud he may not be good why this man going like this it may be for it may be for money it may be for fame it may be for worldly gains there are certain spirits which mislead the people really our hearts are innocent when demons or evil spirits gives misleading thoughts we are simply going after that one day a very good man came to, came to me and said father when i see you i am observing you with the with the mind of a police officer i wondered i asked him my dear gentleman what happened to you why do you after me with the mind of a police officer then he said i want to find out the the fraud behind this ministry i appreciated him i told him okay you do your ministry i will do my ministry my dear friends afterwards when i mingled with many other people simple people good people sincere people they are saying in their minds also every now and then feels such suspecting thoughts they are suspecting the church they are suspecting the holy eucharist they are suspecting the word of god they are doubting god himself doubts confusions unbelief anti thoughts hostile thoughts against spiritual things against god against the church against churchmen against the ministers of the word of god against ministries when i sat before my lord god gave me an insight from the beginning itself it was like this satan induce the children of god to doubt the love of god to doubt the truths of god in eden the paradise the eden adam and eve satan came to them and induced them to doubt about the plans of god to doubt their god to doubt the love of god the same way until this day satan deceives the children of god one example is there at amos 
chapter 7 verses 10 to 17 then amazia the priest of bethel sent to king jeroboam of israel saying amos has conspired against you in the very center of the house of israel the land is not able to bear all his words for thus amos has said jeroboam shall die by the sword and israel must go into exile away from his land hallelujah hallelujah a spirit is working with that priest amasia he is the priest of the court that evil spirit induces that amasia to go and talk against amos with the king and he is spreading all calumny against him there are such people this day, these days in our times speaking calumny about spiritual ministries speaking bad things against the word of god against the church spreading confusions spreading doubts spreading lies about the church about the sacraments about the word of god about the spiritual ministries yes continue and amasia said to amos o seer go flee away to the land of juda earn your bread there and prophesy there hallelujah 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 he thoroughly he misunderstood amos but see from the part of god it is a sin it is not a simple thing when god anoints somebody to speak in his name we have to listen to him instead of that every now and then always we are persecuting them we are torturing them we are spreading all wild all evil things against them what the spirit of the lord told to amasia spirit of the lord intervened there and amos by the inspiration of the holy spirit said i am a working man my lord my god called me and appointed me to go and speak there that is why i came here so i tell you you will have to face the consequences let us hear from the bible therefore thus says the lord your wife shall become a prostitute in the city and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword and your land shall be parceled out by line and you yourself shall die in an unclean land and israel shall surely go into exile away from its land this sin brings great disasters to our house to our family god revealed to amos how much grave this sin is to act to speak bad things so spreading lies about spiritual things hallelujah hallelujah in amos 7 14 there we see amos is introducing himself then amos answered amaziah I am no prophet nor a prophet's son but I am a herdsman yes and a dresser of yes. sycamore yes. trees and the lord took me from following the flock and the lord said to me go prophesy to my people israel hallelujah 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 there was a genuine divine call with amos and amos was a genuine prophet he never cared about the worldly things he was a true genuine prophet in his words and deeds but the world couldn't understand him in our times too we do not understand we do not recognize the persons god sent to us 
ฮาเลลูยาฮาเลลูยาฮาเลลูยาฮาเลลูยา in New Testament in the time of Jesus the same thing happened Jesus came with a great commission from his father in John chapter 3 verse 34 he said the one who is sent by God speaks the words of God that much with that much authority Jesus taught the people and Jesus spoke to the crowds and multitudes but satan induced some of them and they began to think he is a fraud he is not genuine he is a thief like that many began to think about jesus in book of matthew chapter 11 verses 18 and 19 for john came neither eating nor drinking as they say he has a demon the son of man came eating and drinking and they say look a glutton and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds hallelujah hallelujah my dear friends can we meet anyone who is genuine like jesus can we bring someone genuine like john the baptist they were genuine they were true but one their contemporary men think about thought about them they are fraud he is a fraud he is a fraud they are thinking in acts chapter 2 verses 5 to 13 but others sneered and said they are filled with new wine just like drunkards they treated the apostles like drunkards they write them off they branded them something bad they didn't receive what the holy spirit taught through apostles it will be very bad for us it will affect our family it will it will affect our office it will affect our 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 job it will affect wherever we go it will affect because it is a bad thing so the spirit of the lord wants the people through Isaiah the prophet Isaiah chapter 5 verse 24 through prophet Isaiah the lord our god warned everybody no take care to speak bad things about divine matters let us hear therefore as the tongue of fire devours the stubble and as dry grass sinks down in the flame so their root will become rotten and their blossom go up like dust for they have rejected the instruction of the lord of hosts and have despised the word of the holy one of israel my dear friends this is the time the lord calls you cast out your unbelief throw away what all devil sowed in you all the lies by the devil all the lies satan uh, all the lies sowed by satan throw away pluck them out away and receive the truths of word of god pray to god change my heart oh lord help me to believe oh lord help me to understand the divine wisdom oh lord hallelujah hallelujah change my heart oh god change my heart oh god make it ever new make it ever new change my heart oh
Close your eyes and open your uh, hearts. Also open your hands. Pray with deep faith. Lord, I want to change my heart. Help me to change my heart. Lord, till this day, I have committed many sins. Many times I spoke bad things about the church. Bad things about the spiritual truths. I spoke many things about uh, many things with evil intentions. I wrote and I propagated very badly about the church. Help me, Lord. Help my unbelief, oh Lord. Change my heart. Pray to God. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus is here in a real manner. Just as he is there at the right hand of the Father, he is here. Now, let us worship our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, he's the beginning. Jesus, as 
praise and glory is yours you are worthy of praise and honor holy jesus you are worthy of honor and glory we are worthy of honor and praise hallelujah 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 for a moment bring all your intentions before our lord jesus now we are receiving the benediction please raise your hands look upon jesus call his name jesus you are holy jesus you are the mighty one jesus i adore you right now the power of jesus is there with you where you are now raise your hands look upon jesus call his name jesus 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 you are holy you are holy you are worthy you are mighty my oh my Yeah.